Hey camp, today we're gonna be learning how to roll a goal ball. Obviously you don't have goal balls in your equipment kit, so for this activity you're gonna need either your basketball or your soccer ball and about 10 feet of space. It helps if on one end of your 10 feet of space you have a wall, a couch, or some surface that the ball is going to be able to bounce off of so you don't have to keep chasing down your basketball or soccer ball a really far distance. Drill one, lunges. We're gonna start off by doing a drill without the goal ball. We're gonna do some lunges as this is a really integral part of the goal ball throw. Start off by taking a big step forward with your non-dominant foot and leaning into that knee. I'm demonstrating with both my right foot and my left foot. Once you get pretty comfortable doing a lunge with your non-dominant foot, we're going to start incorporating your upper body. Still without using a goal ball, when you take your lunge forward with your non-dominant foot, you're going to bring your dominant hand backwards and then swing it forward like a pendulum as you lean into that front knee of your lunge. I'm again demonstrating with both my right and left hands. Drill two, one step throw. For this drill, we're gonna incorporate your lunge with throwing the ball. Pick up your goal ball and hold it in your dominant hand. If you can't hold it in one hand, you may use your non-dominant hand to keep the goal ball in your dominant hand. Take your step forward with your non-dominant foot. As you take that step, your dominant hand holding the goal ball should start to come backwards behind your body. As you complete your step forward, bring your dominant hand forward like a pendulum and release the ball close to the ground. Coach Maria demonstrates taking one step with her non-dominant foot, bringing her dominant arm back, swinging it forward like a pendulum, and releasing the ball close to the ground. Drill three, three-step throw. In a three-step throw, you take three steps prior to rolling the ball. Your first step will be with your non-dominant foot, and then your dominant foot, and then your non-dominant foot again. And as you take your third step, you will release the ball close to the ground. Coach Maria demonstrates doing a three-step throw to roll the goal ball. If your right hand is your dominant hand, your first step will be with your left foot. Left, right, left. If your left hand is your dominant hand, your first step will be with your right foot. Right, left, right. Maria demonstrates the three-step throw, rolling the ball at the camera. 